Good afternoon. Thank you, Governor. Today we are pleased to announce more vaccine sites will be available for all residents and that our updated phase two priority groups will begin vaccines for residents 75 and older on February 1st. Providing vaccines for all residents cannot happen fast enough. And we appreciate the public's patience as we first vaccinate phase one to protect our health care system, our most vulnerable residents, and provide equity. In addition to providing more details on our progress with vaccines so far, I'd like to make an announcement about a new testing opportunity for early education and child care providers. First, our vaccine progress. As of yesterday, 651,875 vaccine doses have shipped to providers in Massachusetts, including first and second doses, and 224,250 doses are reported as shipped to pharmacies as part of the Federal Pharmacy Partnership Program for a total of 876,125 doses. As of, as of the end of the day yesterday, 448,892 doses of administered vaccine were reported to the MIIS. As of Thursday night, over 247,000 doses have been administered to health care workers. Over 86,000 doses have been administered in long-term care facilities through the Federal Pharmacy Partnership Program. Over 23,000 doses have been administered to first responders through vaccination clinics hosted by local boards of health. Over 3,000 doses have been administered in correctional facilities. In their first few days of operating, over 1,000 doses of vaccine were administered in commercial pharmacies. Relative to testing, as we continue to combat COVID-19, reliable child care is critical for parents and families across Massachusetts. Beginning in February, the Department of Early Education and Care will launch a pilot COVID-19 testing program for its providers, staff, and the families they serve. In partnership with the Massachusetts Early Childhood Funder Collaborative and Bay Coast Bank, eight rotating drive-through sites through the Commonwealth, throughout the Commonwealth will be stood up to offer PCR testing. The testing sites located in Athol, Braintree, Billricker, Dalton, Franklin, Plymouth, Sturbridge, and Westfield were selected based on distance from current state-sponsored Stop the Spread testing locations and concentration of child care providers. During the pilot program, EEC will continue to explore additional testing locations and will analyze data from the program to identify other possible locations and determine next steps. To provide further support for child care, EEC is also dedicating $8 million in state and federal funding to stand up a PPE fulfillment website for providers to order PPE supplies at no cost. One month supply can be ordered, including gloves, masks, bleach, spray bottles, hand sanitizer, and wipes. More information on the pilot program, instructions on how to schedule a test, and guidance for PPE orders will be available online. We've made progress here in Massachusetts, but we still have more work to do. As more individuals are vaccinated through our thoughtful and equitable planned rollout, we get closer each day to a new normal in communities across our Commonwealth. Our administration continues to collaborate with public health experts, medical professionals, and local officials to ensure that we are delivering COVID-19 resources and support in the most efficient ways. We are grateful for the continued patience and shared commitment to eliminating this virus, and through ongoing partnership, we can turn the corner on COVID-19.